Hello all. I welcome you on behalf of Dr. Rajkumar Academy. As we all are aware of the time period what is left for the UPSC Civil Service Prelims 2024. It's hardly little more than two months. And the idea behind this short video is to make you students aware of how effectively shall we use these 60 days, take it 60 days, these two months for the preparation of polity and constitution. And we all are very much aware that any UPSC paper from the time the exams have been conducted, the exams are conducted, a good number of questions come from polity and constitution and no less than 10% and it will be little more than that even, but no less than 10% questions come. And how effectively should we prepare in these 60 days a revision in such a way that all the questions related to polity and constitutions, constitution are made right. So there are a few steps that what students should keep it in mind. These 60 days while preparing for polity. If you see, one of the most important step that one has to keep it in mind is that limiting the resources. We have to limit our resources. Enough. What we have collected, what we have studied is fine. So what it is, we should revise it. Be it static, be it current. So we should be in a way that we shall revise what we have studied. Static part and current part. That is more important. We should not be in search for any new material that will certainly make our time ineffective, make the use of time ineffective. It won't be of use for the exam. So limit your resources. What is there? What we have studied with? Limit it. With one or two material, whatever you have studied, limit it. Revise it again and again. Static part and current part. That's more important. But what the students should keep it in mind when they are revising, when exam is closer, you study, you revise the convention, you study the convention part. Then also join it with the current part of that particular subject along with this. For example, the polity, if you are studying constitution, you are studying the provisions of constitution. Relating to it, what is there in current, put it there into it. Scheme, put it there into it. Jointly study. You can, you can do once one revision like this, other revision, current affairs, take the current matter, polity current. So in that, then from there go to the convention. In fact, we come to the next step of this revision process. That what I say, how effectively this revision process can be made is that make a steady schedule. Some people have a steady schedule with regard to time, which I am not more comfortable with, even encouraging the students. Have a steady schedule keeping the content. So today this much, this two chapters, three chapters we have to study. We have to revise. Along with it, the current affair we have to revise. So with regard to the static part, whichever book you have been studying, if you are comfortable, you go ahead with it. From our institute, we have provided uh, the material relating to it. That's far more than enough. Current matter. The current affairs related item, what is given to you? classes that is done and particularly I have been conducting quick revision program where our strategy is from current we are taking convention in a reverse mode current affairs we are taking and from the current of our matter we pull in the convention and both we are able to explain to you so this you follow properly so this would be of great help so a steady schedule make it accordingly Whatever PPTs and the PDFs, what we have sent to you with relate to the current and convention in the quick revision program, make better use of it. That would take a long way to make sure that you answer every question relating to polity and constitution correct. That is one thing. The third most important step in this time period of two months is that analyzing the previous year paper. Sir, is it time that we have to analyze previous paper now? I am not asking you to take a paper and analyze it completely. No. You should be very clear that which area they have asked. Statements. 
what kind and how those statements are modeled like for example it is defined in the constitution and uh, the type of the question that is being asked and particularly polity related questions the areas of concentration that is again very important that leads us to the fourth important step is identifying the area where we have to revise again and again more importantly in this matter i would like to bring to your notice that there are some items every subject will have such kind of items and in polity for example if you say which bill will uh, lapse by the dissolution of lok sabha it's a very simple topic a bill that originates in a house uh, if the lok sabha dissolves whether it will be alive or it will lapse bill originating in rajya sabha what will happen when uh, lok sabha ra- originated in uh, rajya sabha stays in rajya sabha uh, if lok sabha dissolves after 5 years or due to no confidence motion or anything if they resign and go the government resigns if lok sabha dissolves what will happen to the bill still it is active so this material and all will be there almost every book it has got including a gk book it will have so when you revise these kind of items we have periodically seen with students they confuse here another example typically when they study about president impeachment of president they confuse it with removal of uh, judges of supreme court and high court interchangeably they confuse so these are items when we study what we should do is that keep a marker that these are to be revised again and again so this areas identify past paper the how the questions are asked identify then certain areas identify in such a way that how we have to proceed further as i said examples to you and in our classes we have made it very very clear what are all those areas which has a last minute revision also we have to go for because those are areas which tend to confuse that we have to keep it in mind more importantly above all stay healthy that is most important don't sacrifice much with your sleep and food habits everything take in moderation make sure that you are healthy whatever that is needed what will suit to your body that you adapt don't do any experimentations with regard to health in this period that will have a adverse effect in your psyche also so psyche and body has to go together then it will bring success the best within us on the day of exam let's make successful this attempt let all become successful and particularly when it comes to polity let all the questions be uh, correct this year let's not even miss a single question okay all the best to you all let us meet soon